this is Jared Horak for today's RacingDigest.com. This is going to be my Del Mar Stakes Race video for, for Sunday, November 26th, 2017. We're going to do the third race from Del Mar, the Grade 2 Seabiscuit Handicap. For three-year-olds and up, a mile and a sixteenth on the turf course. We're going to have a nine-horse field, but we're actually going to have a couple scratches because number nine, nine Flamboyant, number five Tequila Joe, they both ran in the Hollywood Turf Cup on Friday, November 24th. They finished third and fourth in that race. So we're going to end up with a field of seven. Number one, Mr. Rory, he was third in the Eddie Reed at Del Mar uh, at nine furlongs, and he got a 155 final rating that day. He was first in the Eddie D Stakes, six and a half furlongs on the downhill turf course at Santa Anita as a 22 to one long shot, and he got a 146 final rating there. He should be forwardly placed from the inside post under Javier Castellano. Number two is Am, he's your morning line favorite. But in the last two years, he's 0 for 10. So, so far, through 2016, 2017, 0 for 10, with eight second or third place finishes. So he likes hitting the board. They put blinkers on in his last two, but his final ratings dipped to 143 in both of those races, and he's lost his tactical speed as well. I think he's a bigger threat underneath than on top. Number three, Irish Surf. This is only his third start of 2017. He didn't run well in his first two, and he missed all of 2015 and 2016. So he's trying to get back to good form. This is a tough spot to get back to that form. Number four, he will. He got a 137 final rating, winning a $75,000 stakes race at one mile on turf at Del Mar on November 2nd. He's going to have to run faster. We mentioned number five, Tequila Joe, will scratch. A number six, Hunt. He's four to one morning line. Flavian Pratt, Phil D'Amato, one of two Phil D'Amato trainees, and they're both win contenders. His, his last two races, he's been disappointing, but go back to his good summer form at Del Mar. He won the Grade 2 Del Mar Handicap at 11 furlongs, and then he won the Grade 2 Eddie D at 9 furlongs, getting a 159 final rating. And if he runs that kind of race here, he certainly is a threat to win this one. Number seven, Pee Wee Reese is the other Phil D'Amato trainee, and he's run on turf five times with four wins and a second. He runs well fresh. He's coming into this with this one fresh. He's got early pressing versatility. He should be close up throughout. And he got a 153 final rating, the best of his career, when he was last seen winning the Great Three American at Santa Anita on July 3rd. Win the space is number eight. He's one for four on turf. He's got a lot of dirt route class. He's run in some great graded races. He hit the board in the grade one awesome again. He ran up the track in the Breeders' Cup Classic. But he's hit the board. He's run well in some handicap division races on the main track. With the last time he ran on turf, he finished 14th in the 2015 Hollywood Derby. And then we mentioned number nine, Flamboyant, as well, and, and he, will, he will scratch from this race. So here are my top four contenders in the Grade 2 Seabiscuit Handicap for 2017. And we're going to make number six, Hunt, our top choice. Number seven, Pee Wee Reese, the second choice. We're going to make number one, Mr. Rory, our third choice. And then number two, um, uh, he's going to be my fourth choice. I think he's vulnerable on top. We're going to make a win wager on number six, Hunt. We're going to play at Quinella. We're going to play number six, Hunt, uh, with number one, uh, Mr. Rory, and number seven, Pee Wee Reese. And then we're going to play a trifecta. We're going to put Hunt and Pee Wee Reese on top, and we're going to include Mr. Rory and Am um, in second and third. So that trifecta is six, seven, with one, two, six, seven, with one, two, six, seven. Now, my full cards uh, were available throughout the meet at Del Mar. We're going to take a break during the Los Alamitos winter meet. We're going to come back with full cards at todaysracingdigest.com with the beginning of the Santa Anita Winter Meet on December 26th, the day after Christmas. And if you're interested uh, in, in this uh, digest, a uh, complete digest from Del Mar for closing day uh, for their fall meet, the Bing Crosby Meet, uh, you can find that uh, the November 26th, uh, th that complete digest at todaysracingdigest.com. Uh, click on the product section and you can get that complete digest. I use these digests for all of my hand handicapping in Southern California. Outstanding information. I could not win without Today's Racing Digest. You can find that information once again at todaysracingdigest.com. That will wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.